going on YouTube? TCD here. And today we're gonna to try something a little bit different. I have here my good old Steam Deck. My, I had this for like, definitely more than a year. I definitely got it when they restock around the summer. And now, of last year, 2022, and now we're here. We're gonna showcase some Halo, the Master Chief Collection. And I'm feeling Slayer. Too loud, of course. But yeah, this is some gameplay. If you guys are interested in purchasing a Steam Deck, I highly recommend it. Cause some there are some times where, say, for me for instance, I'm a college student and I've been working on my computer for very long hours, and you know I just don't want to play games from my from my computer. So this this little handheld definitely helps. You know. So we're gonna play some Halo 2? No, oh yeah, Halo 2, Slayer. Of course, some gameplay, have the frames per second on the top left. Team took the lead, alright. Let's hope I am holding this so you guys can see. Oh, uh, oh. Got him. Okay, I'm guessing, oh, there he is. Dang it. Yeah, so far it runs pretty smoothly. It runs very well. On MCC, thankfully. Because this game is old, of course it's old. Got him. Alright, escape. Alright. I just realized this is a moving cover. This is not I'm gonna be real with y'all. This is my first time playing this map. Oh god. It's oh. probably above me. Somewhere. No? Oh. Ah. Yeah, sorry if I suck, because this is my first time playing on this map. I have like 60 hours in this game, and I have never played. Um, Back then, I never put. Oh, got him. Back then, I never owned an Xbox. I was more of a PlayStation Nintendo guy. But I've been recently playing more MCC lately due to some recent updates and Infinite being in its I mean it's in a better state than it is than it was back then, but oh god, hello. It's not shotgun I just saw? A gun? No? Alright. Well I'm actually going down somewhere around here. Probably. Uh right, abilities weren't introduced in Halo 3 Halo 3 oh up this conveyor belt, run fast. Ah, he got me. He got me. Sorry, I don't know how to record gameplay on the Steam Deck. I figure it might be more. I'm sure it's look. There we go. I think 0.5 is more ideal. But yeah, just for me. Die. No, I missed. Okay. Can we get up here? Thank you. Grenade out. Nothing. Alright. Wait. Hello. Oh crap, it's all of them are there. I always forget there's no sprinting in the classic Halo games. I always forget that's a thing. Oh, I see them. Ah, oh, he... Damn it. So yeah, overall... Game was well. Of course, oh, dang, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not doing so hot, got an assist for that though, okay, I'll walk with the shotgun, 
Oh God, what is happening? There you go, death from above. Oh boy. Ah, I was gonna take the flank over there. Oh, I got him! Let's go from the grave. Don't wanna be trailing somewhere right now. Such a cool map. Look at that view. Nice, 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 nice. Hey, pal. Where you going? Where you going? Ah. Ah. So just finish them off. Take on assist. I'm not complaining. Good old days of Halo. I miss. Gosh, I wish I was there around it. I never had an Xbox growing up. Although I definitely love Reach. I love Reach. Halo Reach in terms of like... I guess when I first played it, I think Reach kind of hooked me. I think the game in terms of stories like Reach, Comet Evolved 2, then 3, then... The 3 ODST, and then 4. Halo 4 is definitely... Definitely feels way different than the previous Halo games. I'm pretty sure that's 343 was first game, and yeah, it felt more like Call of Duty than Halo, so yeah, Halo 4 is definitely polarizing in my opinion. I think they fixed that with Infinite, but Infinite still missing some content. There you go. Oh yeah, dual wielding. I forgot all about dual wielding. I'm not sure if they'll bring that back. I highly doubt it though could be broken or I think it's just bad depending on what weapon you're dueling with I presume but you know, that's just my opinion I'm not sure I only had 60 hours I never played the original growing up but I just like Halo I was to come to think of it Halo was like the first FPS that I was introduced thanks to a friend of mine my neighbor was a friend who has an Xbox and yeah, that's my I think that's my first introduction with Halo Yep, cool. We are. Wait, I'm blue team, right? Five yeah. Remaining. Close game, you almost had it. Uh, I'm just reading the chat. Game over. And we won! Yay! So, yeah, folks, that's that. That's all she wrote. This is Halo MCC on Steam Deck. I had like a. I, I actually installed like one terabyte. And I have a, another terabyte on the SD card, so I have two terabytes. No, two two terabyte SSD and a one terabyte, so I have three terabytes. There you go. That's what I meant to say. So yeah, that's that's some good old Halo Infinite, not Infinite MCC gameplay running on Steam Deck. So yeah, we had a good game. Good game. GG. Oh, I came in third. Nice. And yeah. What do you all know think? Do you guys have a Steam Deck? What are your thoughts on the machine? I personally love it. It's a great alternative if you want to just play games and not touch the computer. You know, if you're working on the computer for so many long hours, I think this device is definitely worth it. My recommendation is to get the base model and then just upgrade. If you're tech, if you're a tech savvy guy like me, I upgraded the SSD myself. And yeah, I think it's totally worth the investment in my opinion. I have a couple of games. I think I have like 33 games installed. Yeah, I have 33 games installed on my Steam Deck. And then I can just show you settings. Go to, I think it's under storage, right? The storage option here. There you go. So I have, yeah, two terabytes and I have a one terabyte. Pretty sure you guys can see that. Yeah, there you go. Two terabyte 
internal SSD and then one terabyte micro. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the little gameplay of Halo MCC running on Steam Deck. It works perfectly fine. Of course, it's unplayable. There's some games where they're unplayable, quote unquote, but then you see the yellow exclamation point, but it's still playable sometimes. There are some games where they're verified with a green check mark, and there's some that don't support it at all, but sometimes some games do, like this, this game, Song Generation. This game plays and runs perfectly fine. But yeah, there you go. I recommend getting the Steam Deck if you haven't so already. Of course, you know, this is this is like a perfect machine if you don't want to work all day on the computer, like you have a long day at work, you don't want to touch that PC, just want to lay back. I'm here on my bed playing MCC, and it was a really fun experience. So, hope you guys enjoy. And what do you guys, you know, leave a comment or subscribe if you want to see me other play some other games. I was thinking maybe Battlefield 4. I love that game, Black Ops 3, mostly the zombies portion. I know it's a bit unsafe in terms of security, but I, I could just record some gameplay here and there because I really love that game growing up. I have this on PS4, PS5, and I love that game. Uh, I miss those days. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. See you in the next one. Peace.